Working with Containers, Docker and Kubernetes. Title, Working with Containers, Docker and Kubernetes. Introduction The era of containerization has rapidly transformed the world of software development and deployment. Containers, which encapsulate applications and their dependencies, offer a lightweight and flexive. The solution for running software consistently across different environments. Docker and Kubernetes are two leading technologies in the containerization space that have revolutionized the way applicate. Ions are built, shipped, and run. In this article, we will explore the fundamentals of Docker and Kubernetes and delve into their key features and benefits. I. Understanding Docker, the Foundation of Containerization, 500 Words A. What is Docker? Docker is an open-source platform that enables developers to package applications into containerized units. It uses container images, which contain everything needed to run an application, including the code, runtime, libraries, and configurations. Docker enables developers to build, distribute, and run applications consistently across different environments irrespective of the underlying infrastructure. B. Key Features of Docker 1. Lightweight and isolated, Docker containers function in isolation, allowing applications to run securely without interfering with each other. 2. Portability, Docker containers can be easily moved across different environments, such as development, testing, and production, ensuring consistency. 3. Scalability, Docker enables the seamless scaling of applications by allowing replication and distribution of containers across multiple hosts. 4. Rapid Deployment Docker's containerization approach allows for fast and efficient deployment, reducing time to market for applications. 5. Version Control Docker provides version control for containers, allowing developers to roll back to previous versions if needed. C. Docker Workflow 1. Building Images Developers create Docker images using Docker files, which specify the necessary steps to create a container image. 2. Publishing Images Docker images can be published to Docker registries, making them accessible to other team members or deployment environments. 3. Running containers, Docker containers are instantiated from published images, allowing applications to run in isolated environments. 4. Managing containers, Docker provides a range of commands to manage containers, including starting, stopping, and inspecting them. 2. Introducing Kubernetes, orchestrating containers at scale, 500 words. A. What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open-source container orchestration platform that automates the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. It provides a framework for managing container clusters and ensures high availability, fault tolerance, and scalability. B. 2. Scalability and High Availability Kubernetes allows applications to scale horizontally by automatically distributing containers across multiple nodes and ensuring availability. 3. Self-healing Colon Kubernetes automatically restarts failed containers and replaces unhealthy containers ensuring application reliability and resilience. 4. Service discovery and load balancing, Kubernetes provides a built-in DNS for service discovery and load balancing, allowing applications to communicate seamlessly. 5. Continuous Deployment Kubernetes integrates well with C-CD pipelines, enabling automated deployments and rolling updates of applications. C. Kubernetes Architecture 
Kubernetes consists of several key components working together to manage and orchestrate containers. 1. Masternode, controls the cluster state and coordinates container deployment and management. 2. Worker nodes, host the containers and run the workloads. 3. Pods, the smallest unit in Kubernetes, encapsulating one or more containers and their shared resources. 4. Services, provide an abstract way of accessing and exposing applications running within the cluster. 3. Docker and Kubernetes, jointly empowering containerized applications, 500 words. Kubernetes can seamlessly employ Docker as its container runtime, leveraging all the features provided by Docker containers. B. 2. Scalability. Kubernetes enables the effortless scaling of containers built using Docker, allowing applications to handle increased loads efficiently. 3. Automated Deployment, Kubernetes Automat As the process of deploying Docker containers, providing a scalable and fault-tolerant environment for running applications. 4. Challenges and Considerations in Working with Docker and Kubernetes, 500 Words a. Learning Curve Docker and Kubernetes have a steep learning curve, especially for those who are new to containerization and orchestration concepts. It requires understanding various components, configuration files, and command line tools associated with Docker and Kubernetes. b. Resource Management 1. Monitoring. With the proliferation of containers across different nodes, monitoring resource utilization becomes crucial to ensure optimal performance. 2. Scaling. Determining the appropriate number of containers and managing their scaling based on application demands can be complex. C. Security. It is essential to implement proper security measures to protect containerized applications and the underlying infrastructure. Isolation, access control, image vulnerabilities, and network security are critical considerations. D. Networking and service discovery Containerized applications often require seamless communication with each other or with external services. Setting up networking, load balancing, and service discovery can be challenging in dynamic and distributed container environments. B. Best Practices for Working with Docker and Kubernetes, 587 Words A. Organizing Docker Images and Containers 1. Using Tags and Versioning it is essential to maintain clear and consistent versioning of Docker images and containers. 2. Proper image naming convention. Following a systematic naming convention can help identify and manage Docker images. b. Optimizing Docker images. 1. Minimizing image size. Removing unnecessary dependencies and optimizing image layers can reduce image size, improving performance and efficiency. 2. Avoiding unnecessary packages. Only include the required packages and libraries in the Docker images to minimize security risks and container footprint.